Hi, I am Felipe Larraín and the Minister of Finance of Chile. Um, and he's going to be answering what is the main reason why Europe is in crisis? And that question is from Victor 123V from YouTube. Well, there are several reasons why uh, Europe is in crisis. There are economic reasons, uh, and the economic reasons point to uh, levels of spending, government spending that went beyond what the achievable means of the governments were. So you spend beyond your income, then you accumulate debt, and you're incurring in higher deficits because you need to pay interest on your debt, and that's like a, like a snowball that keeps growing. And in some cases, several countries arrive to levels of uh, government deficit of 10% of gross domestic product, and that is was clearly unsustainable. So countries needed to implement fiscal adjustments and fiscal adjustments are costly and in the short term they are probably contractionary so you have uh, the need to adjust fiscally it does adjustment means cutting spending raising taxes at a moment when the economy is weak and that is a problem that is the economic reason and Part of this may be a response to the crisis of 2008-2009 when governments tried to stimulate their economies, but then the, stimulate, the stimulus package needs to be phased out. And when you phased out, you're left with a higher level of government debt. That is the economic reason, but there's a deeper reason. We know, or pretty much know, what we have to do in terms, or what needs to be done in terms of solving the economic problem. But then the second issue is political, and it's the political agreement and the ability of the countries of the EU, and mainly the European, the Eurozone, because those are 17 members of the Eurozone, to act together and to act decisively in a timely manner. And that is what has been lacking. So I think the very important part in the solution to this problem, having laid out what the problem is, is the decision and to act together and to act decisively in the short term. Otherwise, if we don't act and if countries don't act in a reasonable period of time, what we're going to have is a much bigger problem in the future. The solution is costlier by the moment. If you fail to act, what you're going to act on is a bigger problem.